All right, this is going to start to get a little bit more interesting now because we're going to start to format our text. I want to point out one thing here. If we go back to our browser, you can see that our copy comes in at a fixed size, a fixed type of font, a uh, fixed color. All that stuff happens by default. It's all part of the default HTML styles that no matter what browser you go to, you're probably going to see the same thing. Until we start to add some styles to it, which will be partially in the next class, but also we can do a little bit now. We can start to affect how some of this copy looks. So let's start to format some of our copy, and I'll show you some really good ways to do that. So I come back to my document here, and again, we've got our paragraph text. So that's one way to format text. Although it's very basic, it's still a way to format it. What they have is, again, these are types of things that are in your basic word processing program where they have things called header tags. Now, header tags are very important when it comes to HTML, more so with SEO, because these are the kinds of things that search engines are looking for to have certain keywords within them. So if you're going to be a good web developer, you want to keep SEO in mind. The more positive keywords that you want to try to rank for that you have in header tags, the better your site may rank. Now, don't overdo it, but I'm going to show you how these work here. So before my paragraph copy here, maybe you want to put a header in here saying, this is my first paragraph. All right, so this is not going to rank real well in the search engines, but I'm going to use it for an example here. So I'll say, this is my first, first paragraph. All right, so by itself, this is just going to be just plain copy outside the paragraph, but I'm going to head, add a header tag to it. And in this case, because it's the first one, and it's because it should be the most important one being at the top of my page and should be kind of the main description of what the whole page is going to be about, kind of like a page title, I'm going to give this one a header one tag. Now, it's very simple to do. I don't, I don't have to spell all that out with HTML. All I have to do is that less than, and I'll say H1, and I'll close that out. And again, you'll see that Dreamweaver wants to automatically close it out for me here. Oops. So I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to cut it out of there, and I'll paste it at the end so it knows where to end that header tag. So again, header one, this is my first paragraph, close header one, start the next paragraph. All right, so let's save that file, and let's come back to our browser window up here. I'm going to hit refresh. Okay, so you can see this is my first paragraph. This is actually style text. It's making it very large, still in the same font, same color, everything else that we have going on, which is the default settings here. We can change all this later, but this is a nice stylized first paragraph header text. So with an HTML, there's actually six header tags and each one, unless you style them separately, each one of these will sequentially get smaller and smaller and smaller as it goes down or as the H gets bigger. So let's do an example here to show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this just to kind of make it a little bit easier here. And I'm going to add one below this paragraph. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change my copy just so I can see what the difference is. I'll say this is my second paragraph, and I'm going to change this header one tag, H1 tag, to a header two. Now, just to kind of go over some of the things we've talked about already, if I start with an H2 tag, and I forget to close my H1 tag, that's going to make my HTML all screwy. So remember, anything that you start, you have to finish the same way that you started. So I'm going to get that H1 and turn it into an H2. Now my document is properly formatted. And I'm going to go ahead just for demonstration purposes here. I'm going to go ahead and do a third and a fourth. Now again, this could go on up to six. And you can actually use header two, header three, header four whatever tags, you can use those several times within your document. Best practice is to only have one header one tag. Try to maybe just have one or two header two tags. The rest of them you can do whatever you want with. But again, that's for SEO purposes. If this is just going to be something that you want to look at and you're not worried about SEO, that's totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to a header three tag. Make sure I close that out. And I'm going to do this one as a header four Header four, I'll say this is my last paragraph, and I'll say my third paragraph. I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna come back to my browser, and let's take a look what it looks like. All right, just like I said, my first header one is the largest text on the page, whereas the H2 is slightly smaller. 
3 is slightly smaller than that, and the header 4 is actually about the same size, if not smaller, than the paragraph text. Now when we get into CSS, you'll see that we can stylize these however we want, so we can make them all bigger than the main body copy, uh, we can make them all smaller, doesn't really matter. We can have complete control over that, but by default, these are what they're going to look like.